Welcome back to the Hardcore series. Here we are getting 100 Vorkath kills and unlocking the upgraded Nexus, which makes your shield abilities with Bone Shield have like a plus 15 shield level or whatever. Basically, barricades will last a bit longer and resonances will heal a bit more, among other things. Ugh, robe top of the first Necromancer just got to level 20, so that should be enhanced devoted proccing 10% more often, I believe. Which is nice. Here, just AFKing Hermod. Might as well get this pet out of the way when I want to take a break from Vorkath. There's 400s of Morgul and Vorkath in normal mode, so that's the first pet threshold done. I was considering opening all the caskets after, like, for each threshold, but if, I, I'm gonna be stuck here until I get the pet anyway. So let's just uh, keep storing them up until I get the pet and see how many I end up with. Oh, that's a broadcast, I guess. 150 million Herblor XP. Uh, just making some adrenaline potions because I'm running, running out of my adrenaline renewals way faster than I should be. Ugh. You have to use it on like, every single kill with necromancy and using the living death rotation. So yeah, it's a lot of adrenaline renewals. And that is a full hour of Rise of the Six solos without banking. Like, are you kidding me with this power creep <laughs> or just this ridiculously broken combat combat style? If you told me a year and a half ago that a new combat style is going to come out that lets you solo rots for an hour without banking, I'd say don't release it. It's ridiculous. That's way too powerful. But here we are. 44, soon to be 46, yeah, malevolent energies in my inventory from one trip of rots on a penance aura, no familiar, sure. And after that session of Rise of the Six, it also gives me enough malevolent energy to uh, unlock the next pet, so might as well go with Carol. Uh, so now that's three out of six of the Barrow's Rise of the Six pets. Three to go, halfway there. 58 malevolent energies left over, and the pet tab is looking a little bit cleaner. Uh, so it's just Varax, Guthans, and Arums that I have left to unlock, and they're just kind of placeholder items in here. I have all the sets from the Barrow's Grind, just need a malevolent, malevolent energy to finish off these pets. So, uh, 750 malevolent energies to go, however many hours that is. So I thought I'd try something new with this video and just do a little talk through of the solo rats kill. So, you know, you start the kill, you do two basic abilities to air Aram. I like to use the stack building abilities, so residual soul and necrosis stack start building. And then whatever Carol decides to do is going to determine what the, your next steps in the kill are. But in this case, Carol's spinning and gets sent to the shadow realm, which is not ideal, but it's not that big a deal. Wait for him to stop spinning, use finger of death, tier 95 spec, get him nice and low, and then finish them off as soon as you see that like chat message where they all start to uh, jump the border and come onto the same side. And then here's where you just nuke all of the brothers with uh, Threads of Fate, Volley of Souls, Residual Soul, or Soul Sap, and then another Volley of Souls, and it just completely nukes all the brothers. And then there you go, you finish off Aram, and that's the solo rats kill. Easy peasy, Necromancy OP. Well, hello, that's the first shield well, back at Solo Rots. Uh, Merciless Kite Shield, how much is this nowadays? 14 mil? Sure, okay, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> so I saw the rotation was Aram, Carol, and Varak on the same side again, and I said, yeah, sure, let's do another day of Solo Rots. And eh, first kill, vengeful, vengeful Kite Shield. I mean, I don't, I don't need these. If you look at the collection log, I have duplicates of every shield. I guess Vengeful is the most, but... Uh, Cool, that, that's another uh, drop to the collection. There's a Merciless Kai's Shield, another one. Okay, well this was a four hour trip of rots without banking. We got ten minutes left on the aura, but I ran out of overloads. Six overloads in this preset to last this long. Ridiculous. I mean, look at the energies. 150 malevolent energies from one trip of barrows. Uh, and then the rest of the loot is just crazy, over a thousand rock tails, a hundred plated rune salvage. Sure, uh, I gotta go to bed. It's just ridiculous how long you can stay on one trip at Barrow's solo nowadays. Alright, I almost forgot, I can unlock the next pet, huh? So, yeah, just grab 250 of this malevolent energy out of here, 
and move on to the pet tab. Uh, just go with Varric, I guess, and then put the set back in this tab to mark that I'm unlocking it. There we go. 11 energy on Varric set. And there we go. I believe that's four out of six pets down. Two more to go. Uh, we're getting there. Should be just a couple more days of a good rotation. Hey, here's the Hermod's armor piece. So that's the Hermod pet done. Uh, didn't expect it that done on this account too. Man, is this drop rate not actually what it shows on the wiki? Because it just seems way more common for me for some reason. But yeah, there we go. It's another uh, pet to the pet tab. And uh, unfortunately, one less thing I got AFK. But <laughs> sure, that'll just make me motivated to go back to Vorkath until I get that pet, right? Also got 40 harmonic plate, so that's full Death Warden if I ever make that. I don't see a reason to make that power gear, because I have full tier 95, but uh, the option is there. And of course, that's the broadcast saved up, because this is like the easiest drop log in the game to complete. Just need a plate, the quest item, and the pet. Okay, it's another decent rotation. It's just uh, Guthin on the side with Aram and Carol, so not Varex, so it's not perfect rotation, but eh, I'll take it. It's another 163 malevolent energy uh, for a five hour trip of barrows. Oh, and don't mind the kill time on that last kill, minute 42. I killed Carol too fast and then Carol went into the bombs. So yeah, not an ideal situation there. Okay, is 163 malevolent energies enough to get to the next pet? Uh, 278, yep. So let's go ahead and unlock the second to last pet. For the rocks, Rots Grind, uh, might as well do Guthin, I guess. Move it to this tab so it's marked uh, unlocked. And let's unlock this second to last pet. Uh, what is this one? Guthin the Bobbled. Sweet. So uh, that's the last pet that I'm going to claim on this account until I get IFB because I want to save the last pet unlock for when I actually do the broadcast spam and get IFB. So uh, yeah, this, this ARM set is going to stay here in the pet tab until I unlock all the pets. So I just need to finish off the 250 uh, malevolent energies to unlock that pet to have it ready to go. Oh, just doing a few runs on my lunch break at work and got a vengeful kite shield, which is honestly a little awkward because I'm running out of inventory space here. I only have one space for one food at this point. Uh, hopefully I use up the last of this overload before I need more inventory space. So the City of Um task set got the hard and elite tasks added, and the perks from those rewards are just way too good to pass up. So here we are finishing Requiem for a Dragon, which is a requirement for one of the tasks. And here we are doing the Memory of Nomad fight, because you need a soul cape for one of the tasks. Obviously, beat the time for the golden cape on the first try, because, you know, necromancy exists. And here we are claiming the elite task rewards. And this should be 800 Zamorgul and Vorkath kills, which is the second threshold, all normal mode kills. So yeah, a pet should be a bit more common. I was considering moving to hard mode to get the 100 hard mode kills out of the way, but then I tried learning it on Pub Stomp, and oh god, I what can I say? I hate hard mode Vorkath. Curse you, Solid of scale you might be, foul dragon, but I will riddle with holes your rotten hide with a hail of harpoons. With every last drop of my being! And just how much damage you take and have to deal in a solo encounter is just not fun. So I'm gonna hold off on doing that on the hardcore and probably just finish grinding out the pet on a normal mode. But uh, yeah, it's also a good rotation for Rise of the Six, so uh, let's, f let's finish that up and then uh, call it an episode on this one. Oh man, I just love janky rots tunnels like this. It's a zero bridge and has this weird offshoot instead of going like straight down the path. So there, there's the entrance and there's the boss. Easy peasy tunnel. Okay, it's just about bedtime and I finished up the about four hour trip of rots for today. Is it enough energy to complete the last pet? 252! There we go. So let's just drag this into the pet tab and put it next to the Aram set. And that is done. That's the entire Barrow's Rise of the Six pets complete on the hardcore. 
uh, pretty much all from soloing rots. I know I soloed a bit on Pub Stomp with the hardcore leeching back before Necromancy made it super easy. But uh, yeah, there's the log. It says 1670 malevolent energies in there because I used a bunch for the uh, Masterwork Spear of Annihilation and full malevolent, or not full malevolent, full trim Masterwork Armor. So yeah, I guess it's like about 100, 170 energies for that. And then yeah, that's uh, that's the complete Byro's Rise of the Six. Uh, pets for IFB requirement, 1,126 uh, rots kills and 1,316 Barrows kills for all the armor sets, and that's the thing with doing this grind on a on a Iron Man and a hardcore. You could just buy all this on a main. You can literally buy these pets and skip this entire grind on a main. But on an Iron Man, it's like a 100 plus hour grind, depending on your Barrows RNG. But uh, but yeah, good to have that out of the way, and it's probably as good as any spot to end the episode. See you next time for a Sanctum of Rebirth. That's coming out on Monday, so that's exciting. Hopefully it's not as bad as Hard Mode Vorkath, but we'll see. But thanks for watching and see you next time.